Hey friends, I realized as I'm editing this video, I never made an intro. <laughs> so this is a grocery haul. Imagine that. Um, we went to Costco and we went to the grocery store and we picked up some things that we just needed because it had been a while since we've actually done some grocery shopping. But we also picked up several things for the Christmas season. So some treats and goodies and some things that we want to have as time comes a little bit closer, it's nice to kind of stock up now so I'm not blowing my budget too much when it comes to Christmas and fighting lots of crowds. So um, enjoy this haul and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so let's start over here. I've tried to group all of the holiday things together. First, let's start off with candy cane ice cream. This is a grocery store brand and this is just such a good... <laughs> candy cane ice cream. It is one of our favorites and we're gonna watch lots of Christmas movies coming up and I thought this would be fun um, to watch our movies with. I also got these Ritz Snowflake Crackers. Um, lots of dips planned in our future and I thought those would be fun and festive to eat dip with. <laughs> um, so tomorrow I'm gonna make my Chex Mix. My grandma always made Chex Mix, my mom always made Chex Mix and it is just one of my favorite holiday treats. Love it. So we double the recipe because we also give it away to family. Um, so I got two bags of the stick pretzels and then I also got some garlic salt because I'm fairly certain that it needs garlic salt. And then I'd initially had two smaller bags of peanuts but my husband said, no, we need more. So we went for this big club pack of these blanched salted peanuts. And I gotta admit, I love the peanuts in my Chex Mix. So we got three packs of butter, two packs of flour. I do like to get the non-bleached flour. Um, I'm hoping that Santa will bring me a flour mill or flour grinder for uh, Christmas. We can ground, grind our own fresh wheat, but for now, this is what we're going with. I also got a um, one kilogram package of icing sugar, otherwise known as confectioner sugar. I got this quick rise yeast. Um, I love to do sweet rolls for our holidays and um, it calls for quick rise yeast and I have other yeast, just the regular stuff, and it didn't quite work this past Thanksgiving for the um, the cinnamon buns, that did, they didn't rise, so I decided to just go ahead and get that yeast. I also got a two kilogram package of, what is this, brown sugar. Um, I'll use this for baking, but I'm also gonna make some sugar scrubs. My hands and my skin just really needs a good old scrub and I don't like to actually buy that stuff because it's so easy to make um, that I am going to just make my own. We also got some eggnog, Zevia. So Zevia is something that we kind of always get but I specifically wanted to have it um, for Chex Mix and watching movies. So I love the cola kind, that's kind of my favorite and the one I always go to. Cranberry ginger ale. This is like a holiday Christmas drink that we always get. I don't like regular ginger ale, but I do like um, the cranberry kind. So that is kind of the um, holiday stuff for now. And then this is just kind of regular grocery haul, Costco haul. So this is grocery. Um, we got some saltines. We've got lots of soup in the freezer and my husband has wanted um, saltines to kind of go with the soup. I made cream of tomato soup. Uh, with lots of my garden tomatoes and basil and froze all of it. So we've been eating on that. It tasted so good. The kids are obsessed with The Incredibles and they saw The Incredibles goldfish and asked if they could get some. So I said yes because they are big, big fans. We got this big pack of apples. So this is a six pound bag and they're naturally imperfect, which means you know, they're just not as perfect as just, you know, the regular apples that they sell. But you can get, this is, um, I think, two or three times bigger than what they actually sell. Just the perfect, perfect apples. Um, and it is less in price, too. So I love to get this naturally imperfect stuff when I can. Um, trivia. They're all the things. Um, and my water enhancers. So I got fruit punch 
and tangerine grapefruit and lemonade. And if you're new to my channel, these are sweetened with stevia um, and I love to have them in my water because it's like, I mean, I don't drink juice or anything because these are just so good. <laughs> um, uh, mini carrots. We got some deli ham for sandwiches and to go in scrambled eggs and things. Um, I got two bunches of green onions, a cucumber, some poppy seed salad dressing, and then this is just a big pack of chicken. It was about $10 off, so um, I got lots of chicken in the freezer, but gosh, when it's $10 off, you stock up. Okay, so now we go out Costco. This is um, a salami pack. My kiddos love this. They request this stuff. We like to slice it for lunches and they absolutely love it. So we got a pack of that. Um, our marbled cheese that we, is just like standard. We always get um, some eggs. Now I eat a lot of eggs. We go through a lot of eggs and we do make it a point to get free run when we can. Um, our city is actually hopefully passing a bylaw where we can have backyard hens um, and I could get up to four hens and I'm really hoping that passes because I love chickens. So we also got two creams for coffee, half and half, um, Greek yogurt, some spinach, and it was really awesome. I had said to Shane, oh, let's just get this at the grocery store. But this was only about $3. And um, when we looked at the price at the grocery store, a smaller container cost more than this did. And this is organic and um, just such a big pack. And the kids love spinach. So yay for us. <laughs> um, we got some clementines or tangerines. I'm not sure what they are. Um, some Annie's organic mac and cheese. And we got mangoes. My favorite thing to do with these is just to put them in a glass container in the fr fridge, um, probably about like half a pack actually, and we just eat them as our fruit. So I'm trying to buy more seasonally as far as our produce is concerned. Um, I'm not getting berries or tomatoes or different things like that that are really summer specific. Um, simply because A, they cost a lot more, and B, the, the taste just is not there. So. In the winter, we do more things like citrus and frozen fruit. So that's kind of how we do that. We got this sweet kale salad mix. It looks really delish, so um, excited about that. We got two bunches of bananas and um, some avocado oil. And then we got two packs of the sprouted green bread and there's two loaves in each. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about all of the stuff, the non-food items. I got this large roasting pan. Um, I've got one already under my, um, in the pull-out drawer of my stove, and this is to make my Chex Mix in. My in-laws had, my mom used to have like this really big metal bowl that she would always make her Chex Mix in, and my in-laws have one of those large bowls, and I used to just actually borrow it from them all of the time to make my Chex. But um, one Christmas they bought me a metal bowl, only mine was too big to fit in my oven. So we have that and we use it for popcorn and other fun things. Um, but when it comes to making Chex Mix, um, I just get these large roasting pans and then um, just wash, always wash them out first. Um, and then just do my Chex in the two of those pans. Uh, have you got these liver bite treats for the dogs? We got, or I got um, some mascara. So this is a primer, and then this is just the regular mascara. I always try and go for the highest times that I can get. Um, I like thick, thick lashes, and um, I have been <laughs> using the same stuff for a very long time, and I needed some new. So that is that. I also needed some conditioner, and I love this Tresemme um, keratin one. It just makes my hair feel so very, very silky. Um, I got these scrubbing bubbles, uh, toilet brush, flushable refill thingies. Um, I would just, ugh, cleaning the toilet, right? Like, ugh. But um, I have used several different things in cleaning my toilet. I really just hate having the toilet brush hanging around. I just find it gets so gross after just a short amount of time. Um, I tend to try and clean my toilet like every day. With these things, I don't. It's probably like every other day simply because there's only 12 in this pack. So tonight I was looking at the toilet brushes, planning to just get a regular toilet brush because I do have this sort of eco-friendly toilet um, stuff. <laughs> 
Um, but they just were so twaffy and the holders were ugh, not good. So I don't know. I'm still looking for a good toilet brush for now. Just the scrubbing bubbles thing works fine. Um, I picked up some Nature Clean hand soap. So I've been pouring this into a lot of my um, reusable hand soap containers. Sometimes we just make our own, but I am out of, cast out of Castile soap. Um, I love the Nature Clean brand. This is such a good brand, and I cannot use things like Bath & Body Works hand soaps and um, hand soaps filled with a lot of ingredients that are just not good. They just make my hands break out so much. So the Nature Clean brand is really clean. Um, it is cruelty-free and vegan. It's formulated for sensitive skin. It's biodegradable. There's just very few ingredients in it, gluten-free. Um, and this is in a peppermint scent. So I've got one of these at all of my sinks, including in my laundry room. But we're out and I'm excited about using the peppermint scent in the bathroom. I got this Dawn Pure Essentials um, dish soap. Now it doesn't tell you the ingredients in here. Um, I did use this, I am going through a bottle of it right now, and it's nice dishwashing liquid. Um, I used the seventh generation, really liked that. I was going to actually use the Nature's Clean brand, but I forgot to pick some up when we were in the natural aisle, and I didn't remember until we were all the way up near the checkout, and it's at the back of the store. This was right nearby, so we just got this again. Um, but I do actually really like this, it creates, um, it's really good cleaning, so I don't know how natural it actually is, but I don't know. Okay, so this has turned into a new favorite product. So Boulder is another really clean brand, and this is their natural stain um, laundry stain remover. And guys, I'm telling you, I have gotten out so many stains. Every stain I've ever sprayed this on has come out. It is so good. It's gone like chocolate and blood and like gross things and all the stuff it just comes out and if I happen to miss a stain and it goes through the washer and the dryer sometimes I can actually even respray this on the stain and it will still lift it out this stuff is incredible I just absolutely love it and again um, this isn't tested on animals it's let's see I don't know all that stuff but it is sure good 